Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this tutorial on the Scoring Edition, part of the new version 5 release of Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro. Scoring Edition is the big brother to Express Track. You use Express Track when you want to select your music first and then edit to it. You use Scoring Edition when you've got your video edited and now you want to add music to it. You can tell whether you have Scoring Edition or Express Track by looking down here at the bottom. If this button says export, then you have Express Track. If this button says insert, then you have the scoring edition. We use Express Track to select our music, and we'll be using it a little bit later in this tutorial. But for right now, I want to put Express Track away and illustrate the five windows that are part of Scoring Edition. If these windows don't show up, go up to Sonic Fire Pro, go down to Preferences, and make sure that Show Timeline with New Document is checked. When this is not checked, you'll only see Express Track when Sonic Fire opens. If this is checked, you'll see all five of these windows. Additionally, if the windows are all messed up, go to Window, select Bring All to Front, and then do Window Arrange Windows, and all of your windows will properly lay themselves out on your screen. There are five windows inside the interface in addition to Express Track. This is the Timeline window. This is where we build our music the Properties window, which is where we make changes and selections to the music that we're building. The VU meters allows us to make sure that our audio levels are not too hot and our music is not distorting. This also gives us gain control over the music. This is the bin and spotting window. Spotting is brand new with this version, and it's so important. It's got its own tutorial. We'll be talking about that more a little later. This is the video window. This allows us to add video so we can watch the video while we're playing the music. There's several ways we could add video. One way is to click the Choose Video button. I'll just bring in Water Channel and click the Open button. We could also do the same thing as Control clicking inside this black window area. And if I needed to get rid of the video, I'd close the video. In this particular case, let's just choose the video, bring in Water Channel, click Open. To play the video, you hit the space bar. Stop the video, you hit the space bar. To rewind the video, you hit the Return key. Also notice that as we play the spacebar, we're able to see the time code up here as our video plays or stops playing, and the playhead moves across in the timeline. That's because there's a link between the video window and the timeline window. That link is established by this button. If this button is a lighter gray, when you play the video, notice the, the timeline doesn't move. If I'm in the timeline and I'm playing, notice the video doesn't move. So if you ever find yourself hitting the space bar and the wrong things are playing, it's probably because by mistake you click that button. Just click it again to make it go dark and the timeline and a video will be linked together. Let's hit the return key and rewind and look at a couple of the other buttons that we've got up here in the toolbar. We've got our standard start, stop, and play buttons. By the way, the play rewinds your playhead to the beginning and then starts playing. The play will always play from the position of the playhead. We can zoom in and out on the timeline with the zoom in and zoom out buttons, but I tend to prefer using the zoom slider. I've got more control over what I'm zooming in on. Notice I've got an indicator here that shows where our video starts and an indicator that shows where our video ends. We can add markers. Now these markers actually have a lot more to do than just simply put a marker in the timeline. It's the whole spotting thing, which is just breathtaking, and I'll show that to you in the spotting tutorial. We can change moods with mood mapping. So I'm going to show this to you, and, and we'll talk about mood mapping in that tutorial. And we can add what are called hit files. And then we also have the Express Track button. When I click the Express Track button, it opens up the Express Track and allows us to select some music. Well, before I start to cause real problems here, let's, let's just go back up and, and rewind by hitting the return key and put ourselves back at the beginning because any music that we add is always added at the position of the playhead. Click the Express Track button and, and I want to just look for multi-track files because I want to be able to play with different layers of music. So I'll uncheck our single layer stereo clip button. And I want to find something that's got some intensity to it. So we'll pick a level four intensity. And for keywords, I've got all these different keywords to choose from. But I don't think for a surfing video, Latin would be the right choice and probably not ominous. I think that's, let's just see here. How about if I, oh, I know what I want. This is surfing. Let's go for crazy. And we've got seismic manifest. And by default, the length is one minute. 
Well, we could set the length by, say we want it to be 25 seconds long. I could just type in 25 seconds, and we've already seen that we can change the variations that we've got. And we can change the moods. We'll be talking about moods more in the mood mapping tutorial. I'm going to click the Insert button. It takes that 25-second piece of music and drops it to the timeline. But notice that my video ends over here, and my music is too short. Well, here's the, this is just amazing. You grab the end of the music and you drag it to whatever length you want. And that quickly, it's recalculated all the music and, and dropped it into this magical mix master and shuffled it around and it gives us a new beginning, a middle, and an end that runs exactly the length that we want. In this case, 33 seconds. Hit the return key, hit the space bar. Spacebar again to stop. Now we've got something to play with. There's a couple of other things I want to just introduce to you because we're going to talk about them more in other tutorials. This, this multi-layer track actually consists of different instrument tracks. Notice here as I scroll down, I click this, this downward pointing arrow, the twirl down. I can see the drum track, the bass track, the synth track. I've got two of those. Electric guitar, scratches and FX, and those are all the different building blocks that we use to create this music. In addition to the, the individual mood tracks that we've got, if I select this clip and go over to the Properties tab and turn on the Timing Control, the Timing Control allows me to change where the actual beats, themes of the music hit. This is also brand new with version 5, and I'm going to have a separate tutorial that talks just about that. Finally, for you traditionalists, we have the ability to change the level of the clip by clicking this little mountain range here. It shows the, the volume envelope. To add a volume keyframe, double-click directly on the orange line, double-click again, and you can drag the keyframes up and down by simply grabbing them with your mouse and dragging up or down. Traditionally, all we had to do with music is to make the volume louder or softer. But with this version of Scoring Edition, we can play with the actual instrumentations and, and start to really craft our music. And we'll show that to you more. And once you have keyframes, if you decide that you need to take them out, you go up to the Tracks menu and say Clear the Volume Track and all of your volume keyframes are gone. For right now, let's just pretend this music is perfect. We've got it to be the right length. We've got it set to our video. We go up to File, Export Soundtrack Video. We're going to export the complete soundtrack. We hit the Export button, and we'll just give it a name and, and save it. And that quickly, we're done. But there's a lot more to the scoring edition than I've just shown you in this overview. Take a look at our tutorials on spotting and mood mapping and timing and discover the real power that you've got over controlling your music. Give yourself a chance to play and you'll be amazed at what you can do. My name is Larry Jordan and thanks for watching.